PenFed Credit Union is in the top five best credit unions in America, and they're known to give high limits on their credit cards, just like Navy Federal Credit Union. They offer four personal unsecured credit cards to consumers that bank with them, and some of those credit cards are gonna come with enticing perks and welcome bonuses. So if you've been looking at PenFed credit cards and you're unclear on which to get, then I got you. Because in this video, we're gonna be breaking down each PenFed credit card from worst to best, even though they're all pretty decent. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. But if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ish Sandiford, and you are now watching Just My where we talk about financial related topics such as personal and business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics. So if that's something you're into, then you're probably gonna wanna consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so PenFed stands for Pentagon Federal. This is a credit union that's been around for the last almost 90 years, and PenFed is pretty much Navy Federal Credit Union's competitor. They give high limits on their credit cards, they're bankruptcy friendly, they're generous with their approvals, and they give amazing rates on their mortgages and their auto loans. This is the second biggest credit union in America. They have a wide list of financial services that they offer and they're easier to start banking with, unlike Navy Federal. If you would like to start banking with them, then you simply can. All you have to do is open up a savings account with a $5 deposit and that's what I literally did. You don't have to be in the military in order to start banking with these guys. Before you did though, not gonna lie, but things have changed in the last couple of years. One thing I will say though is that if you are in the military, then yes, you will receive a little bit more benefits. And I'll go over on how all of that works later on in this video. Okay, so to receive a PenFed credit card, you have to be banking with them. If you are not banking with them, then you will not be eligible to receive a PenFed credit card. You can apply though if you're not a member, but you'll be prompted to create an account during the application process in order to move forward. I would just open up a banking account first though, to be honest, before applying. It's always best to bank with them first though, because we all know with credit unions, they tend to be relationship based. So your chances of getting approved or even a high credit limit with them are just better if you just bank with them first. But the recommended credit score needed in order to get approved is going to be a 680. Now there has been members out there though that have qualified for a PenFed credit card with having a lower credit score than that though and their credit score was the early 600s. And this is why it's important for you to build a relationship with them just like any other credit union. So that way you can get approved for this kind of stuff. And some of the ways that you can build a relationship with PenFed credit union is by setting up a direct deposit with them. And you can also use some of their financial services that they offer like a share loan. A share loan is a secured savings loan just like the pledge loan that Navy Federal Credit Union offers. Offers. So same concept, but just with PenFed. You're trying to build a relationship with PenFed now. And you're not gonna find this savings secured loan on their website. For this loan, you're gonna have to call them and ask for it. But you would get this savings secured loan so that way you can build a better relationship with them and at the same time building up your own credit score as well because that does add to your credit mix as well. And we want to do that because we want to have access to those high limit credit cards that PenFed offers. But for my people out there that have good credit, then you can definitely apply right away if you would like to. I mean, it probably would help you out a little bit more if you wait those three months so that way you could build a better relationship with PenFed so that way you can get a high limit credit card on your first run. But if you don't want to do that and wait that long then you can definitely apply right away. Only if your credit is enough to par then I for sure would suggest that you just wait a little bit. But once you apply and get approved for a PenFed credit card then there's actually a hack out there that everybody's doing. Once someone gets approved for a PenFed credit card then you can go ahead and apply again for another PenFed credit card using the same hard pull. Although it is suggested that you wait about a week to apply for your second credit card with PenFed. This can definitely be a good hack because look, if you have two new credit cards, then that means you have two new credit limits. And if you have two new credit limits, then that means you will have a lower credit utilization ratio. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna trigger a credit limit increase. And just so you know, they will be looking at your Experian credit report. And each credit card that you have with PenFed will have a maximum credit limit of 25,000. But 50,000 will be the maximum limit among all your PenFed credit cards put together. So for example, if you have two PenFed credit cards with a $25,000 limit on each credit card, then you'll be maxed out at 50,000 and you won't receive any more credit limit increases. But we'll talk more about this on a different video soon. And also, if you guys are finding any of this information helpful, if you guys could do me a favor and hit the like button, I would truly appreciate that because it really helps me out a lot. But anyways, let's go over PenFed's credit cards now from worst to best. The first credit card we're gonna be talking about is the Gold Visa card. This credit card is personally one of my favorites to be honest. If you guys regularly watch my channel, then you know how I feel about 0% intro APRs on purchases and balance transfers. And this credit card offers that. The Gold Visa credit card gives you a 0% intro APR on purchases and balance transfers for the first 15 months of you opening the account. And then after that, it's going to be a 3% fee on balance transfers. And then there's going to be a variable APR of 17.99%. So if you have a different credit card that has debt on it, then you can actually use the Gold Visa card to do a balance transfer on and carry on that debt from the old card. You would then just make minimum payments on it without being charged any interest for the debt that you had on the previous credit card. So zero interest for 
15 months. And like the PenFed website says, nothing beats zero. And I also do want to mention that there are no annual fees on this credit card and there are no foreign transaction fees on this credit card as well. So we're gonna place this credit card at number four on our list because there's still other PenFed credit cards out there that offer a little bit more than this one does. Because after the 15 months are over, then it's literally just a regular credit card that doesn't offer any perks or any rewards. So definitely gonna put this credit card at number four on our list. Now the next credit card on our list is gonna be the Power Cash Rewards Visa Signature Credit Card. And yes, you heard me say Visa Signature Credit Card. Whenever you get approved for a Visa Signature Credit Card, the starting limit on that credit card is gonna be a minimum of $5,000. But honestly, that's gonna depend on the relationship that you have with Pentagon Federal, and it's gonna depend on your credit worthiness as well. So if you're not too hot in that department, then you're probably gonna receive like a $3,000 or a $2,000 credit limit or something. But the Power Cash Rewards credit card offers you 2% cash back on all purchases if you're a PenFed Honors Advantage member. And if you guys don't know what a PenFed Honors Advantage member is, then keep watching because I'm gonna go over that later in this video. But if you're not a PenFed Honors Advantage member, then you will be receiving 1.5% cash back on all of your purchases. And this credit card, also has no annual fees and no foreign transaction fees, just like the gold visa card. The Power Cash Rewards credit card can also be a good card if you're looking to do a balance transfer. And I say this because they have a 0% introductory balance transfer APR for the first 12 months of you opening the account. And then after those 12 months are over, then it's gonna be 3% for you to do a balance transfer. So this can definitely be good if you're trying to get debt from another card and transfer it to this credit card, so that way you don't pay no interest on it for a while. And another thing that this credit card offers is a $100 bonus on statement credit. And the way you get that is by spending $1,500 on purchases within the first 90 days. And again, just like the gold visa card, there's gonna be a variable APR of 17.99%. And that's not too bad compared to other credit cards, but comparing it to another credit union like Navy Federal, then it's only decent. Because not gonna lie, Navy Federal does have better rates on their credit cards than PenFed does. But this credit card really isn't offering anything too crazy that stands out or that I find intriguing. So we're definitely gonna place this credit card at number three on our list. Now the next PenFed credit card we're gonna be talking about is called the Platinum Rewards Visa Signature Credit Card. So just like our other credit cards that we reviewed earlier, there's gonna be no foreign transaction fees on this card and also no annual fees on this card as well. The Platinum Rewards credit card is going to offer you five reward points for gas paid at the pump and at EV charging stations. So if you go to the gas station and use your Platinum credit card at the pump to get gas, you're gonna be receiving 5X points and also EV stations too. So if you need to charge your Tesla, then you're gonna be receiving 5X points for that as well if you use this card to pay. And this credit card is also offering you 3X points at supermarkets and both Target and Walmart are both included. This is cool because literally plenty of other credit cards out there always exclude Walmart and Target. And a quick example of that is going to be the Chase Sapphire Preferred Visa Signature Card. That credit card gives you three points on grocery store purchases but excludes Target and Walmart, literally. So for the Platinum Rewards credit card to do this is definitely refreshing. But you'll also earn 3x points at restaurants, TV, radio, cable, and streaming services. I'm personally a big fan of Disney Plus so I can personally see myself paying for my Disney Plus membership with this credit card. So that way I can receive the 3x points, you know? But for all other purchases that were not in these categories, then you will be receiving one reward point for all of your purchases. But this credit card also offers a 0% introductory balance transfer APR for the first 12 months. So same thing like the Power Cash Rewards Visa Signature Card. In fact, all PenFed cards have a 0% introductory on balance transfers for the first 12 months. Except the Gold Visa Card. The Gold Visa Card has it for 15 months. But the Platinum Rewards Card also has a variable APR on purchases of 17.99% as well. All of these PenFed credit cards are gonna be a variable APR of 17.99%. But lastly, this credit card will offer you 15,000 bonus points once you spend $1,500 on purchases within the first 90 days of you opening the account. And this may or may not still be available depending on the time that you're watching this video. But these reward points that you earn are gonna be a little different than the reward points that you receive from other credit card issuers. Usually, reward points are valued at one cent per point, but these reward points are gonna be valued at less than one cent. So depending on the way that you're redeeming your reward points, they can range anywhere from 0.85 cent to 0.99 cent. So literally just under one cent. And the biggest drawback from these reward points is that you cannot redeem them for cash back. You can, however, redeem them for travel, gift cards, merchandise, or you can also give them to charity if you would like to. So just take all this into consideration before you apply for this credit card or any of their credit cards. So I'm definitely gonna be placing this credit card at number two on our list. I feel like it deserves to be at number two on our list because it definitely offers a whole lot more than the first two other credit cards we talked about. But the number one credit card that PenFed has to offer that's gonna be at the top of our list is gonna be the Pathfinder Rewards Visa Signature Credit Card. This credit card is going to offer you 50,000 bonus points once you spend 
$1,000 on purchases within the first 90 days of opening the account. And this credit card is going to give you 4x points on travel categories if you're a PenFed Honors Advantage member. If not, then you'll receive 3x points for every dollar spent on travel categories. And then 1.5x points on all other purchases. I do want to mention that this is the only credit card that PenFed has that has an annual fee on it. However, this fee can be waived if you are a PenFed Honors Advantage member. But if you're not a member, then it's going to be a $95 annual fee. And I'll be going over on how to become a PenFed Honors Advantage member right now in a bit. But some more perks that this card has to offer is $100 on annual domestic air travel statement credit. You can use this on flight food, Wi-Fi, bag checking fees, and stuff of that nature. It also comes with statement credit all the way up to $100 for global entry or up to $85 for TSA pre-check. And then it also comes with a complimentary priority pass at airport lounges. So I feel like this credit card offers a whole lot more than all of the other credit cards we reviewed. You're just getting way more value from this card, especially if you're a PenFed Honors Advantage member. Because if you're a member, then there's pretty much no annual fee on this card. And to get all these perks and bonuses with no annual fees is crazy. Crazy in a good way. So we're definitely going to put the Pathfinder Rewards Visa Signature Credit Card at number one on our list. But now, let's quickly go over on how to become a PenFed Honors Advantage member. So there's pretty much two ways that you can make this happen. The first way is, if you are or were in the military, then you automatically qualify for this. And the second way is you have to get a PenFed Access America checking account. And to get this checking account is going to cost you $10 a month in order to have this account. But there's two ways you can avoid this fee though. One, maintain a balance of $500 or more in that account. Or two, have a monthly direct deposit that's $500 or more. PenFed does this because they really want you to use them as your primary bank. So do what you will with this information. But that pretty much wraps it up for today's video, guys. I hope you guys found any value in any of this information. And let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about PenFed? What do you think about PenFed credit? credit cards let me know and also if you guys have any credit cards out there that you want me to review then just comment down below and let me know but if you guys made it to the end of the video then i truly do appreciate you guys for watching we literally just hit 21,000 subscribers at the time of this recording so i do appreciate all who watch i do post weekly videos for those that don't know and if you haven't yet already don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you guys get notified every time i ish post a new video and again we talk about personal and business credit real estate and other financial related topic so if that's something you're into then you're probably gonna want to consider subscribing we talk about how to get high limits on your credit cards we talk about how to boost your personal credit how to obtain business credit we talk about real estate we talk about mortgage loan products all that so this is your one-stop shop and for those that don't know i'm a licensed real estate agent a realtor and i'm also a licensed mortgage loan originator as well so if you guys have any questions or concerns in regards to real estate all my information is in the description below but if you guys made it to the end of the video then i truly appreciate you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching